Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of a Legion Moritat with Volkite Serpenta. He's in this box here. I had a couple of um, suggestions about Cypher whereby uh, you know he'd make a good um, proxy for a Moritat. Um, that's, a, that's a good suggestion. I can't see why you couldn't use him as a Moritat. Um, what is a Legion Moritat before I unbox it? Well, you'll find him in your HQ section in your Age of Darkness army list. He's a Legion console and there's different types of consoles. Basically, you, you buy your Centurion, which is 50 points, uh, and then the Moritat is um, basically like a, a lone killer. He counts as an optional HQ choice, but he can't take in as the compulsory HQ. So you're gonna have another, you're gonna have to take another HQ choice as your compulsory one. Um, I'll go into the rules a little bit towards the end of the review, but for now, let's just uh, unbox this. So, yeah, optional HQ. It's got these twin pistols. Um, reason why I didn't get the plasma one is because of that suggestion about Cypher and um, taking him as a uh, or proxying him as a Moritat because um, he's got that plasma pistol and I just thought well we just have that and then have this guy with the uh, Volkite Serpenta and here he is uh, one of these guys will set you back 21 pounds I think it's a couple of pounds for delivery um, but uh, comes in this little clam pack gonna be quite straightforward to um, build I'm literally after this video gonna go and wash him uh, Anyway, what are you all doing inside watching this video? It's beautiful weather here in the UK. Um, go out on your motorbike or, you know, go out to the park or, you know, go for an, an adventure. Um, get some of that ultraviolet radiation. should do it so you get your standard I think 32 millimeter base and it's cool because he's got a jump pack this is actually my first Horus Heresy model with a jump pack there won't be in any instructions <laughs> just that <laughs> okay uh, no instructions no rules fair enough um, so base uh, let's have a little close look. I can't do much about the sunlight and things. In in a way, it sort of works for me, but the camera itself is casting a shadow. Lovely detail. I love the um, the extra ammo magazine holders, the pouches. It's got a knife there. There's a bit of slippage just on that knife, but the rest of the sculpt, and there's a bit of slippage there can see so that'll need a bit of tweaking a bit of filing down but the helmet looks fine the chest looks fine skull skulls come out okay here's the Volkite Serpenta or the barrels for them very fine uh, slits there very fine slits lovely detail though here's the uh, jump pack so my first Horus Heresy model with a jump pack. It's got these two little thrusters and then a main one at the back. And he's got some shoulder pauldrons. He's got some kind of like lightning symbol and some studs. That's just a piece of flash, I think. And then this little thing. Don't know what that is, I'll find out. And then Get the ammo feeds, or the cabling actually, probably. And then finally a little bit of a scenic base going on. So you've got some iron armor, helmet, a bit of rubble, some nicely detailed ammo casings. And uh, yeah, I like that. I think that's um, excellent to add that with the model. So there you go, um, that's the model. I'll go away, wash it, uh, glue it, and it'll be here in part two. So join me in the next part. And welcome to part two. So here is the Moritat um, completely built and things. Um, 
I say real easy model to build. If you've built a, a resin space marine before, you'll have no issues whatsoever. Um, the biggest problems <laughs> were with the ammo feeds. Um, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand why he's got ammo feeds at all. Um, but hey, I suppose that it sort of feeds in, no pun intended, uh, to the, you know, the aesthetics of the model and the fact that he just goes around akimbo um you know, it doesn't really need to reload if it's you know if it's through his um power power pack or whatever um he's got this jump pack which is awesome uh, first experience of um a resin version of one of these and uh i really like the scenic base um bit of cork and some sand around that and <clears throat> that'll blend in very nicely and so I, I would have thought that this is sort of man-made, maybe concrete, because there's some piping coming out of it, or some corrugated, uh, maybe it's um, reinforced concrete or something like that. Uh, but uh, one would question why it's sort of at that slant or slope. But, oh, well, um, just just the nitty-picky. So, yeah, as I say, the difficulties were, were with the ammo feeds. Um, my big suggestion always is just use a hairdryer. It can be a pain if you want to use boiling hot water and leave these in there, but I assure you that the ammo feeds will probably cool down quicker than you can uh, mold these into place. Whereas a hairdryer, you can sort of start molding half of it, use a hairdryer and start and uh, you know bend and shape the, the other half. But they are the two parts that will give you the biggest issues. Um, uh, but yeah, just to get them to fit and to you know to be flush is is a is a bit of a an effort. Um, but there you go. That's the uh, more attack with the Volkite Serpenta. What I'll do now is I'll just go through some of his rules. Uh, they can be found in the Age of Darkness Army List book. So as I said at the start of the video, you, you find them in the HQ options um, part of the book. Basically, you buy a Le Legion Centurion, um, which is Weapon Skill 5, Ballistic Skill 5, Strength and Toughness 4, 2 Wounds, Initiative 5, 3 Attacks, uh, Leadership 9, and a save of 3+. plus. Um, so his initiative is still one better than a um, custodian on a jet bike, I might add there. Um, but 50 points uh, for one of them. He comes with power armour and a bolt pistol, chainsword, um, grenades. He would be an HQ... Um, or count as, as a single HQ. However, because he's a console and because he's specifically a Moritat, there's quite a number of consoles actually. There's a, a librarian console, Master of Signal, a champion, uh, a forge lord, um, Primus Medicae, Siege Breaker, Chaplain, Vigilator, Moritat, the Pravian, the Delegatus, and the Herald. So there's a number of consoles, and I really do wish or you know hope Forge World make uh, a model for each one of the consoles. It'd be pretty awesome if they did. Um, but I know a lot of people wanted the Morat Moratats. Um, uh, uh, only now, obviously, we've got Cipher who could you know double as as one of them. Anyway, um, if you want a Moratat, you have to pay an extra 45 points. So then he's going to run you at 95 points. Um, I'll just go through some of his rules and things. So his war gear, um, he's got an additional bolt pistol and rad grenades. Uh, he can't be given a combi weapon, board, board and shield, bolter, power fist, thunder hammer, lightning claw, bike, jet bike or terminator armor. He can't be given any of those. But obviously, because he's a Centurion, uh, he can exchange his bolt pistol and or chainsword uh, for one of the following. So he can get his... Um, uh, Volkite Serpenta, which is fine. So his special rules, he's got Scout and Counter-Attack. Uh, lone Killer, so he can't be taken as a compulsory HQ choice, only as an optional one, so you're still going to have to have your your um, compulsory one somewhere, and he can't be the, the uh, army's warlord, which also means he can't be taken as an allied detachment, and he can't join units or travel inside uh, transports, except Legion Destroyer squads. I think they're the guys with the jump packs anyway. Um... And they can't benefit from any blessing type of psychic powers, any leadership bonuses, leadership re-rolls, um, or other beneficial special rules um, provided by friendly models or army-wide uh, effects, which are a result of a right of war. Okay, so that's pretty, you know, pretty negative, I suppose. Um, and then his other special rule is called chain fire. When attacking with pistol weapons, the Moritat may declare a chain fire attack for every successful rolled hit. They may make an immediate additional shooting attack with the weapon against the same target and may continu continue doing so until they miss with the weapon. The gunslinger special rule also applies, um, so he can fire two pistols at once. 
um, to a maximum of 12 hits in total from both pistols combined. So, <laughs> so he can fire these pistols and he just keeps going and going and going. He just shoots them and every every successful odds hit, remember his best skill five, so he's, you know, it's two plus, isn't it? Um, he just keeps getting, he just gets additional shooting attacks. Um, weapons with the gets hot special rolled, used to make chain fire attacks, subject to chain fire overheat. Hence why I've got these puppies here, these uh, uh, Volkite Serpenta, which I don't think it gets hot, where the plasma, plasma pistols are. Let me just uh, talk about the chain fire overheat. If one or more weapons with gets hot special rule is used to make a chain fire attack, the extra stress on the weapon can prove perilous. Uh, when used for a chain fire attack, such weapons overheat on rolls of a one or two, inflicting a wound on the firing model. Should any overheat occur, the chain fire attack immediately ends without further reroll for hits. Phew, that's all right then. But still, um, the way I read it is even if you hit on a two, um, it's going to start overheating. However, it's good that, you know, the first overheat you get is, um, you know, the chain fire attack immediately ends. You, d you don't have any more hits. So that's that's pretty decent um, because, you know, 12 plasma pistol shots would be horrific, especially if he sort of jump jetted across 12 inches and he was within sort of 12 inch range. So effective range of sort of, let's just say 24 inches. Um, and then he fired and... Um, you know, had shot after shot, um, 12 shots. I mean, statistics-wise, I'd say four out of those 12 are going to be a, a two or a one, just just if my maths are correct. So, yeah, there, there's a good chance that he could blow himself up if he had the, the plasma pistols. Another reason why I took the Volkite Serpentas. Um, yes, the plasma pistols are good and things, but uh, these, you don't want the gets hot. The Volkite Serpenta, I might as well just talk about his weapon there. It's range 10 inches, so effective range, what, 22, because so he can move 12 inches and then he's 10 inch range. Um, it's strength 5, so normally it'd be wounding on 3s. Uh, it's AP 5, so not amazing. However, it's got this deflagrate special rule where basically it has a devastating effect, effect on organic matter. It uh, explosively burns flesh into ash and jetting fire. Um, so after normal attacks uh, from the weapon have been resolved, you count the number of unsaved wounds on the target unit, um, and then you resolve a number of additional automatic hits using the same weapon's profile, equal to the number of unsaved wounds. So it has a chance there of um, causing more wounds, which is pretty decent, especially when you use that chain fire um, rule. So there you go, here's a nice little HQ unit. Um, yeah, plasma pistols would, would be awesome, but with the plasma pistols, with the gets hot special rule, that's the thing that really takes something away from it. As cool as the model looks with the plasma, and uh, looks cool with the Volkite, they're the same pose. There's there's no real way of, of chain, changing them up. It depends on what you're going for and what the other destroyers in your squad or whatever, or in your army, have, um, have opted for too. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about this uh, this little Moritat um, console. I think he's an absolutely stunning looking model. Great little action pose and a great addition to the army. Only obviously now I need to get some destroyers to make sure he's not, um, you know, alone with his, with his uh, you know, Mark IV jump pack. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.